IHGN Studios. It's Braves Beat. Hello, Braves, and welcome back to Braves Beat. I'm Nail Ozerbegi. And I'm Henry Cownan. How's your golf season been going so far? Man, it's been toasty out there. With temperatures reaching almost 104 degrees, we're playing in a sauna. I know. I know the feeling. It feels like my tennis racket's going to melt. Well, hopefully fall decides to come around sooner or later. We have a lot of news to cover, so let's get started. This September, we have an important message to share. It's National Suicide Prevention Month, a time when mental health organizations and individuals around the world join forces to raise awareness about suicide prevention. The 988 Lifeline is here to provi provide 24-7 confidential support for anyone in distress. Remember, Braves, it is okay to not be okay. By reaching out, raising awareness, and fostering open conversations, we can unite in this effort to spread hope and support those who need it most. We have some exciting news for our community. The Indian Hill School District is thrilled to announce the grand opening of its brand new Entrepreneur Center. This event will take place from 4 to 6 p.m. next Thursday, September 5th. Let's take a look at this promo of the new center. experiences working with an entrepreneur was actually my senior year of high school. In Mrs. Schoenauer's class, I interned at uh, Mono Dermatology, which is located over in Kenwood. Is it, everything starts with an idea. Being an entrepreneur doesn't have to be this daunting, scary thing, but rather you have an idea and you take that idea and foster it and put some hard work, determination, and obviously some other factors along the way, and you grow it into something. Anyone can be an entrepreneur, um, and at its core, Entrepreneurship is a mindset. Being surrounded by entrepreneurs and introduced to them is an opportunity that not everyone gets. The amazing thing about entrepreneurship is it's fueled by passion. invited to come learn more about the exciting programs being developed. Don't miss this chance to be a part of something truly special. The first show of the 2024-25 theater season is Pride and Prejudice. Students interested in auditioning for the cast should scan the QR code for more information and to fill out the audition form. Students who would like to play a more behind-the-scenes role can click this link for sign-up sheets and more information. For any other questions, email our theater director, Kendra Thomas. Don't miss this chance to be of something truly special. As usual, our fall sports teams have hit the ground running. Let's hand it over to our sports reporters, Patrick and Micah, for this week's report. Hello, Braves. I'm Micah Solashatz. And I'm Patrick Langworthy with this week's sports report. First in football, the Braves won 30-17 over Roger Bacon, highlighted by a 49-yard trick play touchdown from Devlin Daniel to George Vollmer. They play Northwest High School at home this Friday at 7 o'clock, so make sure to come out and support our Braves. Make sure you come early for Booster Bash because that's this Friday at 5.30. Make sure to wear red for Red Out or buy something new from Braves Line, which will have extended hours for the game, so you can shop during the tailgate. In field hockey, they beat Oakwood 4-1, but their game on Tuesday at Walnut Hills was postponed, so their next scheduled game is at Granville High School on Saturday at noon. In boys cross country, the top three runners were James McGrath with a time of 16.09, Zai Zhang Hong with a time of 16.33, and then finally James O'Driscoll with a time of 17.27. In girls cross country, the top three runners were Ella Grant with a time of 20.22, Claire Wilkes with a time of 22.12, and Ava Sinan with a time of 23.31. Girls tennis lost to Mason 4-1 but won at Oakwood 4-1, and beat Summit Country Day 4-1. They also beat Marymount 4-1. They played on Thursday at Centerville High School, and we will have those results next week. 
The boys soccer team won at Cincinnati Country Day 3-0 on Saturday and beat Marymount 3-0 on Tuesday. They play Tippecanoe on Saturday. Great work, boys. In girls soccer, they won at Cincinnati Country Day 2-0 and played Marymount on Wednesday. We'll have those results next week. Their next game is against Tippecanoe. In golf, the girls won 253-246. to The boys lost 160-178 to against Roger Bacon at the mill. They then placed third at Camargo Country Club, falling behind Madeira and Marymount. In volleyball, they beat Cincinnati Country Day 3-2, but then lost in a tough battle 3-0 against Coleraine. However, they bounced back and swept Marymount 3-0. That's all for this week. Back to you guys at the news desk. Thank you for the awesome update on our fall sports teams. Let's keep cheering them on. Go Braves! This is the first week of the newly implemented Connect Hub, located at the front desk of the high school. Open 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. daily. So if you have any tech needs, please visit the new Connect Hub. Remember Braves, this Monday is Labor Day, the celebration of American workers' social and economic accomplishments. So enjoy your long weekend and see you on Tuesday. Coming to you from the number one school district in the state of Ohio, I want to welcome you to a new way to get the news you need to be brave. Welcome to our debut student newscast. My name is Kirk Konecki, and I'm the proud CEO and superintendent of Indian Hill School District. This year, our team is creating leadership opportunities for student storytelling like never before. In partnership with Campus Life, the communications department has created a team of student ambassadors in grades K through 12 student leaders who can help share the story of our district, our home. Let's get right to it and go now to Indian Hill Primary School where our Campus Life Coordinator, Latif Johnson, is standing by. Latif, are you excited? So excited, Mr. Konecki. I'm here with our first group of student ambassadors at what we often call the gateway to our school district, Indian Hill Primary School. The magic starts here. Our team is ready to tell you who they are. Hi, my name is Ava. My name is Eden. Melisson. Hey, I'm Owen. Hi, my name is Madhav. Leslie. I'm Luke. My name is Eden. Welcome home, friends! If you need some financial advice, you've come to the right place. Our Indian Hill Elementary School students win the state stock market game year after year. My bet is these student leaders are going to nail their introductions. Kendall, fourth grade. Hank, 5th grade. Charlotte, 5th grade. Rodrigo, 4th grade. Hans, 4th grade. Giselle, 4th grade. Daniel, 3rd grade. Ella, 3rd grade. Teddy, 3rd grade. Ellie, 3rd grade. David, 4th grade. Toki, 5th grade. Charlotte, 5th grade. Del, 3rd grade. Josie, 4th grade. Welcome home, Braves! We're here in the new state-of-the-art Indian Hill Middle School. Let's hear it for our new student ambassadors. Pierce, 8th grade. Lexi, 7th grade. Jean, 8th grade. Jackson, 7th grade. Chase, 8th grade. Alice, 7th grade. Cameron, 8th grade. Bryson, 6th grade. Aria, 8th grade. Rory, 7th grade. Kieran, 6th grade. Welcome home, Grace! And we are wrapping up at the number one high school in the state of Ohio. Braves, tell them who you are. Samantha, senior. Yvonne, senior. Lucas, senior. Ella, sophomore. Lily, freshman. Devlin, sophomore. Marley, senior. Tyler, sophomore. Maddie, freshman. Elsa, freshman. Martha, freshman. Molly, junior. Lily, senior. Sophia, junior. Marin, sophomore. JC Jr. Welcome home, Braves! Mr. Konecki, our new student ambassadors are ready to roll for one exciting new school year. This is Leadership in Action. We can't wait to see what they have to share. Thank you, Latif. Thank you for watching, and welcome home, Braves. Here's Mr. Johnson with his two words of wisdom. 
What's up, Raves? It's your first two words of the school year. In case you didn't know, two words is all about providing you real, raw, and honest nuggets to chew on as you continue to develop into the best leader that you can be. It's a leadership for all message. Everybody will get something out of two words. The start of the school year, it can be chaotic as we try to find our rhythm again. But here's the thing. No matter what grade you're in, everybody that is watching this video has been a student before. We all have an academic journey and being a part of a school community shapes who we all are. This year, I want you to go first in your approach. Ask yourself, where did you struggle last year? What changes do you need to make to feel proud when the year ends? What groups are you connected to? And how is that impacting your experience as a student, but more importantly, our school? Opportunities, they're everywhere. But sometimes you need to go first to create those paths. People, places, and things that actually make a difference and an impact, those are the things that we will all remember. What legacy do you want to leave? Be bold. Go first in exploring new ideas this year. Talk to your teachers, staff, and counselors about how to make your school experience even better. And when you have a plan, go first. Take the leap. And remember, a plan written on a piece of paper that has no real action is simply a journal entry. Leaders... I need you to be fearless, creative, and intentional this year. There is work to be done. Big dreams require realistic plans and hands to do the work. This is your time, Braves. It's time for you to go first, sculpting the legacy and the experience that you believe in. Go Braves. I hope you enjoy your break from sports and school this long weekend, Henry. Thanks, Nayla. Okay, Braves, that's all the news we have for this week. Be sure to follow us on X, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And remember, stay, stay classy, classy Indian, Indian Hill. Hill. Today we're going to be asking people what their favorite unpopular opinion is. This one might get pretty heated. I'm back. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll go. Right. I think anchovies and onions on a pizza is exquisite. Wow, wow. okay. Yeah, thank you, thank you, yeah. yeah. We're going in the weightlifting room. Let's see what they're doing right now. So what's something that you uh, normally do? Getting up every day at 4 o'clock in the morning and taking a walk at 4.30. There's nothing quite like this man right here. Thank you. Are we done now? No. Yes. Um, yes. 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 Okay, all right. Can you ask me? All right, I'm here with Paige. <laughs> hey, 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 Ava, hey, Ava, hey, Ava. You, 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 you stop, you're gonna stop messing with the camera, huh? You're gonna stop messing with the camera, huh? All right, all right. All right, let's go. Paige, Paige, what is your unpopular opinion slash hot take? The moon landing was fake. Uh, okay, okay, first of all, okay, 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 okay. Can, can, you, can you go through this with me? Can you go through this with me? Can you explain it? why the moon landing's yeah. fake? Nayla is saying she's gonna pay me five bucks if I say it. Wait, I have a good hot take. Macy, what is your favorite hot take slash unpopular opinion? Oh, um, my favorite hot take is that Carito's bad. Wow. Okay. Okay. Why? Why do you say that? Why do you say that? Because it's not good. How? How is it not good? Can you, can you explain to me why it's not good? Because you're not really giving anything good right now. It's. It's just not very good. Yap, 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 no answer. Slints, what is your biggest hot take slash controversial opinion? I think breakfast food is way better for dinner than it is for breakfast. I agree with that. Water Fountain, what do you think? Can, can you elaborate on that? Mr. Pergalski, what is your hot take slash controversial opinion? You should put ice cubes in milk. What? What, 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 what? what? You should put ice cubes in milk. Well, that's definitely something. Well, th thank you, thank you. You need to drink it right away, but it's a way to make it ice cold. Just trust me on this, okay. but you don't want it to get watered down. Okay, okay, thank you for the details. Also, do the giant crossword. It is, it is pretty cool, so thank you, I appreciate it. Ms. Coltis, what is your biggest controversial opinion? 
I really hate when people say that Shakespeare is not real or that he didn't write about all those things, and I think that that's completely crazy, okay? Um, number two, I like jalapenos on everything.